What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be going over the top 10 weapons in ASA PvP. So I just wanted to establish that this video does not include any base rating tools. So there's also no melee weapons and nothing that does no damage. So every weapon on this list does damage and is not a melee weapon. Now I am ranking these weapons on this list over versatility, which is how well they kill dinosaurs and people alike, and how affordable they are, meaning like how much they cost and what you need to get them. Okay, so for our honorable mention, uh, we have the assault rifle. So this may surprise a lot of people because, you know, it's a flashy weapon. It's not doing that bad damage, you know, like, look at this, not too bad. But the thing is, it is kind of expensive. You know, that, that cementing paste, that poly and that metal, that's pretty expensive, man. And what it shoots is ARB. And I think, personally, my opinion, I would not be wasting ARB for a weapon to PvP with. I would only be using ARB for my turrets. So if you have ARB, put it in your turrets. Don't worry about using it for an assault rifle. And obviously, this thing will shred dinos. But, um, it'll shred dinos and it'll shred people if you get them bowled. But, you know, I mean, in terms of usefulness, I don't think this is something you should really be bringing to a gunfight. So, yeah, I mean, that's our honorable mention. Just go to number 10. Alright, for our number 10 spot, we have the Fabricated Pistol. Now, this is higher above the Assault Rifle for one reason in particular. And that's because of how you get it. So, like, the cost, it's a lot cheaper, obviously. It's significantly cheaper than the Assault Rifle. But, the bullets, you don't have to use them for turrets. And, you can find the gun and the bullets instead of drops on the island all over the place. So, you know, I would take this and use it a little bit more. I mean, there's a lot... Oh my god. <laughs> There's also a lot less recoil, um, so it'll be a little bit easier to aim. If you don't have somebody bullet, uh, you can rapid, I mean not rapid fire, but like you can, you got a good trigger finger, it'll do a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's a pretty good weapon, I think, but I'm never going to bring this willingly. I would only really use this if I have nothing else to use, or if it's just something I got out of a drop, but you will never see me making a fabricated pistol. Alright, for number 9, we have the crossbow. Now, the crossbow is high up on my list because of its versatility, really. So, you can put grapple hooks, you can put flame arrows, you can put trank arrows, and then stone arrows. I just didn't grab any for this video, but these flame arrows, if you have somebody bullet, or even if you don't, they will, like, they will mess people up. And then they also do the burn damage, but it doesn't do it on the mannequins, obviously. And that burn damage, you know, it disregards armor, for one, and... It gets dinos pretty well. You can easily kill an RG or a PT with ease just by using flame arrows from a crossbow. And if you have a better crossbow that's not prim, then it's it's game over for them, really. And uh, crossbows are so cheap. It's only metal, wood, and uh, hide, I think. Metal, wood, fiber, or something like that. I don't. Yeah, it's metal, wood, fiber, um, which all of that you get really early game. So you have access to a crossbow like really early in the game. And you can make everything besides flame arrows like as soon as you get started, really. So that's with number 9 for me. Um, all right, for number 8, we have the tech rifle. So the tech rifle is this low on the list just because of how it costs and what you need to get it. So obviously, a tech rifle is going to mess up anybody. You know, in any kinds of flak, in anything, a tech rifle will shred people. But... To use a tech rifle, you need to beat a boss. 90% of players are not going to be able to achieve that. And then once you beat the boss, you still have to craft the tech rifles. Because you're not going to find these other drops. This isn't Gen 2. This isn't Arc Survival Evolved. You're going to have to find these other drops. And then, you got to use element to make this thing. you got to use ele elements to make this thing and element to shoot it. So it's really expensive. But, you know, if you have your hands on this, this thing will murder people and dinos alike with relative ease. Um, but yeah, the big drawback is just really how, how much it costs and what you need to get it. So on to the next one. All right, for number eight, we have the C4. So obviously I can't really show you like how much damage it does, but just trust me, it does a lot of damage. If you bullet somebody and you put C4 down, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna mess them up. Um, but the reason that the C4 is not, you know, crazy high or anything is because you can't, shoot it obviously you gotta set this up so the only ways to really kill somebody with this is to one put c4 on their dino and blow them up two 
you can make a C4 trap and then have them like lead them to it. Or three, you get a ball of them and then just put C4 on them there. So, you know, those methods are obviously achievable. You can do them, but it's really a hassle. And C4 is expen like C4 debts are really expensive. So, yeah, it's a little bit lower on the list for me. It's because you can't shoot it and your range is really limited with this thing. Six. All right, for number six, we have C4's buddy, the rocket launcher. So the rocket launcher, as well, is going to shred people with armor, and they're going to destroy dinos really easily. So the main drawback about the rocket launcher is because you know it just shoots so slow. Like you can, you can dodge rocket launcher bullets. If you're close to somebody and you're rocket fighting them, you're going to mess them up. You know, if you got somebody bolded, or you know you're just standing right next to somebody, uh, just chasing them down, you're going to mess them up pretty bad with the rocket launcher. It does a lot of damage. It'll break armor really easily. It's a little expensive, the rocket launchers, just because it's, uh, you know, metal, poly, and cementing paste, and you also can't really shoot as much bullets out of it. But it does a lot of damage, and if used right, <laughs> it's a force to be reckoned with. I would not use this ki to kill any dinos, but it can be used to kill people really easily. All right, for number five, we have the long neck. So with number five, we are approaching the big PvP weapons and the most popular ones to use. Um... The long neck is really useful. I use the long neck quite a bit. And the long neck, you don't have to use any attachments, but right now I'm using a scope. Um, look at that. That is crazy damage. And then also it'll do the same to people with flak, people with... I missed that because I'm lagging, but... Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, they do a lot of damage. I can even hit fire this thing, and it's it's great. Um, and if, if you wanted to, you can put a silencer on it. You don't need a scope. You can put a silencer on it, and this thing is silent but deadly. Obviously, you sacrifice a little bit of the damage for the silencer, but honestly, I don't mind. It's a, it still does a crazy amount of damage. Actually, I don't think you sacrifice any ammo. I mean, any damage, but <laughs> whatever. So, uh, obviously, these destroy people very easily. They're used early to mid-game, even late-game sometimes. Uh, they're very great tame snipers. Uh, they're a lot cheaper and some of the things above this, it's only hide, wood, and metal. It's pretty cheap. Um, bullets are a little bit more expensive to make, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, yeah, I would take this to me. I would take this with me for any PvP occasion. You know, base raiding, just fighting anybody in general. Uh, but yeah, for the purpose of the video, PvPing, it's, it's pretty good. Alright, for number four, we have the comp bow. So this could be placed at number three. But I have a slight bias, so my favorite weapon is at number three. The combo shreds. It still does increased damage to people like in uh, in full armor. So 400 damage, and this is prim flag by the way. But 400 damage, that is pretty good. Um, combos will destroy people, you know. Obviously they will, um, but they're also great at killing dinos. They're great. You can use them to kill almost any dino. Besides, like, your turtles and your stegos, and you're just things that are really tanky. It'll kill them with pretty... With a lot of ease, really. Um, so it costs metal, cement paste, and poly. Like a lot of the things on this list. But the arrows, they can be a little bit expensive. But as long as you aren't, like, a, a poverty solo, you know, they should be pretty easy to make. And this will definitely be a weapon that's worth it, and you will never regret taking with you. Alright, for number three, we have the flamethrower. So this is really the... The pussy weapon, I guess. And it really pained me to put this weapon down so low, but <sighs> it doesn't really kill people. I mean, it doesn't really kill dinos very well. Uh, and it's pretty expensive. So it's, you know, electronics, poly, metal, cement paste, and sulfur. And then to make the bullets, the propellant, you need a chemistry bench. And even then, it's a little bit expensive. So they will destroy people. Like, better than anything, anything on this list, they will destroy people. But because their price and availability, as well as, uh, you know, being able to not kill dinos that good, they gotta go a little bit lower. Um, maybe it should be even lower than at three, but I love them so much, I'm, I'm always gonna use a flamethrower if I have one. So, yeah. And see, they do the same amount of damage for all, and burning damage is obviously gonna be the same for everyone. Uh, it doesn't get dis it disregards armor completely. Uh, the only thing that can really mess with you is beer and med brews, but even then, you still have a pretty good chance of killing somebody if you're just flaming the crap out of them. 
All right, for number two, we have the Fabricated Sniper. So the Fabricated Sniper is pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive, but it will destroy people in all types of armor. And this is a favorited PvP weapon by a lot of people. So it costs, you know, a lot of metal, so many paste and poly, and the Dura is not very good on it. Um, you can also put a silencer on this, and it does pretty well. So these things, um, like the flamethrowers, are going to be used for killing people most of the time. But they will also destroy, you know, PTs, RGs, easily. If you have capped one, which aren't that hard to come by on Arc Survival Ascended, you can kill dinos with ease, like killing uh, wyverns and stuff. It's so much easier with a capped fabricated sniper. It's crazy. It'll, it'll destroy people. So, yeah, I mean, the reason why it's lower is because it can't kill dinos as good. And it's you can use this close range, you can use it far range. It really just depends on your aim and how good you are. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, this does require a lot more skill than a lot of the weapons. But it's it shouldn't be disrespected at all. So... Now we're going to go to number one. All right, last but definitely not least, we have the pump shotgun. So a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me for this, but this is a must-have for PvP. So the spread of these shotguns will always do a little bit of damage to people. They will tear through your durability on your armor, and if you bola somebody, if you combine this with a bola, they will destroy. This is like... I think this is a must-have in every single PvPers kit. Um... I don't think they're that expensive, really. I mean, for how much it can, for how useful it is, and how much you can use it, even for a prim one, how useful it is, it's it's very much worth it. You get it not that far in the game. After a note run, you can probably unlock it. Not actually, but pretty close. Um, but yeah, they kill people really well. They go through armor, well, after they destroy it, but uh, they burn through the durability really well, and they kill dinos incredibly. So obviously you, you lose that long range factor when using the shotgun, but for close range, for killing dinos, for affordability, and when you unlock it, this is the best. Like it, This could be interchangeable with the, the fabricated sniper just because, you know, the usefulness really, but the fabricated sniper needs to be repaired a lot more. The bullets are a little bit more expensive, so I'm going to take the shotgun any day, man. If you disagree, then please let me know how you feel in the comments. Um, I'm open to all suggestions, and I would love to hear your opin opinions about this. This is really just my preference, I guess. But I tried judging this off of my requirements. Uh, you know, a decent amount. So yeah, that's really it. Uh, I just wanted also, for, <laughs> for my channel, uh, I'm sorry if I haven't posted in like five days. This is my first video in like five days. Um, yeah, I'm having trouble finding some content ideas. And I am also looking for tribe mates because I want to I want to get up and going when the center releases and I want to go crazy and have like a big tribe and be able to make a pretty long series. Because I've had some decent series as a solo, but you know, the solo life is kinda of boring and it sucks. So yeah. I will see you next video and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe. See ya.